Welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create a playlist. Let's look at the example above. So, you could be playing a song, and when you select one from here, it will actually change the one playing and the text above. Okay? So, let's go on. Check it out. That's what we want to go on and add to our audio player. Now, to do that, we're going to go back to our HTML and you see there's a div called lower wing. Okay, so when we load this page, this is that lower wing. So, that we're going to add a drop down menu the select thingy and we're going to give it an id playlist changer usually they have an option with a value so for our case the value is going to be the source of the song so for example the song that we've been playing had this as its value so we're going to put that there as the value and what will be viewed by the user we're going to put it here so when you go back to the holders i have two other songs so I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the other two. So I'm going to add pairs like that. And now we're going to style this element. Okay, so for your code to work, go back to the top and change the style of this. We're going to open the style to have the height of 25 pixels and also the top wing to have a height of 25 pixels also. So when you preview this in the browser, this is what we get so we're also going to add one more style which is text align center that will center that element top wing and the lower wing now the top wing which is this element here we're going to have it have the name of the song so in this case the first song that plays called big wheel so the top wing it's in HTML, it's going to be the big wheel. So let's see. One more style for the top wing is going to be color, it's going to be white, and font family, Tahoma. You may as well add the same, same styles for the lower wing. And that will give us this. Okay? So you can style this and give it a background color of pink, but we'll just leave it there. So we're done with the adding of the elements and the CSS. So what we're going to do next is to target an event on this element when it changes, okay? So since that is, it has this ID, we're going to go back to our JavaScript section. Still, under the window load event and we'll add one more add event listener the event we're going to check for is change we're going to have our normal function anonymous function and the use capture is going to be false so how we're going to change it we're going to change the audio dot source okay when this when you click on that drop down menu we're going to change the source also we've forgotten to add the event there we're going to change the source of the audio to be the event dot target dot value so what we're saying here is the event the element that has caused this event to to occur we target it then we get its value after that we play so that will play this audio all over again okay also we need to change the text the top here so we are going to say top wing now we are using the ID of this div okay so top wing dot inner HTML equals to event dot target dot value okay so let's see whether it's working But 
now you can see it gives us the path and we don't want the path we only want the name of the song okay so we're going to deal with that so we are going to use a method that you can use on all strings called dot replace what do you want to replace we want to, to replace this string audio slash we want to replace that string with an empty string okay we also don't want to see this underscore so we're going to run the same method again dot replace underscore with nothing okay we also don't want to see dot mp3 we know it's an mp3 okay so we're going to run the same method again so you can append the method on another so again replace the string dot mp3 with nothing with an empty string so let's see whether it works To me it looks perfect. So that's the playlist. You see it's so simple. That code only. So see you next time.